Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Oh, we're starting off the morning humid. As you walk out the door, you'll kind of feel the, uh, uh, the somewhat oppressive quality in the air. That's because of the dew point value coming in at 66. Very high this morning. Uh, we have a dew air temperature weather of 73 and uh, kind of a, a mix of starry skies and passing clouds. I think we'll deal with a lot of cloud cover throughout the day today because of a cold front approaching. And that's already kicking up the wind speeds. We've had some wind speeds between about 10 and 15 throughout the morning hours, which is um, not the normal for the morning hours when, generally speaking, we have kind of quiescent weather conditions, very quiet and calm uh, wind speeds. But that's just a signal that later on this afternoon, those wind speeds will increase further and we will start to see some gusts in excess of 20 miles an hour, I think, later today. Lake wind advisories up for all our interior waterways. 69 degrees Wachula, 70 Arcadia, 70 in Mayaka. You get closer to the water, though, and that onshore wind flow, increasing the humidity, increasing the overnight low temperature, 73 in Inglewood, Venice, Sarasota, 74 degrees, Longboat Key. Along the coastline, we have rip current advisories and uh, small craft need to exercise caution today. There's our cloud cover. We'll be dealing with that today as the winds coming in off that uh, Gulf waters kind of picks up the moisture and creates these low hanging clouds. You know, you look at that and you say, ah, we're going to get some rainfall, but not so much. Underneath that, high pressure is building in and uh, the frontal boundary itself has all of its energy located well to the north. That's where there is the potential for some severe weather along the mid-Atlantic states, particularly North and South Carolina. I'll show you that in just a second. As that low exits the Atlantic coast, high pressure builds in, winds come in out of the northwest, and it will be a very, very breezy afternoon. Weather highlights shape up like this, just an isolated shower possible. The winds aloft are, are, are bringing in some very dry air, so there's, there's just not much of a chance to produce much in the way of rainfall with this front. Winds will be picking up as the front sinks south, and we'll look for days in a row of low humidity, lots of sunshine, actually very pleasant weather over the next several days, only it will exasperate the, uh, the fire danger across the state of Florida. We have this line of showers that built earlier on this morning, and it kind of just fell apart. The frontal boundary itself not having much rainfall potential for us and currently across the region for your drive time this morning shouldn't be too much of a problem with rainfall. Maybe an isolated shower moving on to Anna Maria and Holmes Beach, but again, total rainfall amounts not all that great. And once those showers come away from the Gulf waters and move over land, moisture supply is cut off and those rain showers die out pretty quickly. You want rain? Boy, try the mid-Atlantic. There's going to be some heavy weather there over the next 12 hours or so as that low moves out into the Atlantic. Maybe six inch plus rainfalls there. And they're getting some pretty good rainfall in parts of North Carolina as well. So the Charlotte Airport, the Raleigh Durham Airport could see airport delays today. And there is a threat along those coastal regions, a marginal threat of some severe weather, particularly gusty winds and uh, hail as well. So across our region, we'll be lucky to see any rain showers, certainly no thunderstorms, and there's the reason why. That's uh, a very dramatic water vapor image of the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. That tan color is the dry air, and when that comes in, you're just not going to get rain. Expect to see lots of sunshine as we have plenty of dry air upstream. As far as the rainfall future cast goes, you know, a couple of showers work their way through around lunchtime today, perhaps, and then we start to dry out, and we'll be dry the rest of the week. The boating forecast calls for increasing wind speeds, though. Watch out for that, boaters. Small craft exercise caution today. Two to five foot seas and choppy on bay and inland waters. I should say two building to five foot seas later on this afternoon. So we'll look for some pleasant weather in the days ahead. Low relative humidity, plenty of sunshine, nice crisp mornings, and as we head into the weekend, rising temperatures coming our way.